Hello everyone! Welcome na naman sa I Love Math. Sa video na ito, pag-usapan natin solving system of linear equations in two variables by elimination. Okay, meron tayong three methods in solving system of linear equations in two variables. Uh, by graphing, by elimination, and by substitution. In previous video, tapos na natin ang by graphing or the graphing method. Ngayon, pag-usapan na naman natin ang elimination method. Okay, we have an example. Dalawang linear equation. Kaya, uh, tinatawag na system of linear equations into variables. So, meron siyang dalawang variables. Uh, Ililabel muna natin. Uh, equation number 1 and pangalawa yung equation number 2. So, sa elimination method, ang goal natin ay ma-eliminate yung isang variable. Kailangan yung matitira ay isa na lang na variable para ma-solve natin yung variable na yun. So, for, dito sa example natin, kung makikita natin, uh, in elimination, uh, ito ay tinatawag din na addition method. Bakit addition method? Dahil uh, i-eliminate natin by addition. I-add natin yung dalawang variables or dalawang equations para ma-eliminate yung isang variable. So, katulad nito, kung makikita natin, uh, pipili tayo ng variable na eliminate natin. Pero, dito sa, sa given equations natin, yung dalawang equation, uh, mas madaling i-eliminate yung variable y dahil magkaiba yung uh, sign nila. Isa positive, isa negative. So, i-eliminate yung solution natin. Dito sa dalawang equation, pwede nating eliminate yung y. So, i-add lang natin sila, yung dalawang equation. So, x plus x is equals to 2x. And yung y, positive y and negative y ay magsisero na. So, cancelled out. So, ang natitira is 2x is equal to 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. By multiplication property of, of equality, x is equal, i-divide natin by 2 both sides. So, x is equal to 6. So, ito ngayon ang value ng x natin. Now, we will find the value of y na naman kasi meron na tayong x. In finding or solving the value of our y, we will uh, substitute the value of our x to the equation number 1. So, solve for y, substitute x is equal to 6, the equation 1. So, equation 1 natin, x plus y is equal to 8. Substitute natin ang value ng x is 6. So, 6 plus y is equal to 8. So, um, addition property of equality or, sorry, if transpose natin, para mas madali, i-transpose natin yung si 6 sa right side. Dahil kailangan ang maiiwan ay si y na lang. So, kahit anong uh, i-transpose natin, mga variable man o number, pag ililipat natin sa kabila, kabilang side, mag-iiba yung sign nila, di ba? So, magiging y is equals to 8 minus 6. Then, simplify y is equal to 2. So, our solution, our solution of our system of linear equations ay x is 6, y is 2. Pwede natin i-check yung gawa natin kung tama. So, we will check. In checking, we just Substitute the value of our x and y sa ating dalawang equation. So, we will start with equation number 1. x plus y is equal to 8. 
Substitute value ng x is 6, value ng y is 2. So, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, 8 is equal to 8. So, check. Tama yung uh, equation number 1 natin. So, equation number 2, x minus y is equal to 4. Substitute value ng x and y. So, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4, 4 is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, our solution or our answer is correct. So, our solution is 6 and 2. Okay, we have example number 2. Given 2x plus y is equal to 1 and negative x plus y is equal to 10. Sa previous uh, example natin, mas madali kung uh, yung magkaiba na sign yung uunahin natin or i-eliminate natin. So, dito sa, sa pangalawang example natin, x ang magkaiba yung sign. Pero, hindi sila magkaiba ng variable kaya hindi siya ma-canceled out. So, ang gagawin natin, kailangan uh, uh, gagawin nating magkapareho yung variable at saka yung coefficient para ma-cancel out natin. Okay, label muna natin. Equation 1, then equation 2. So, ang gagawin natin, we, have, we will have to multiply, i-multiply natin ng by 2 dito sa pangalawang equation para magiging pareho sila. 2, uh, 2x ang uh, uh, magiging 2x ang variable natin. So, we will multiply by 2. So, the result is 2x plus y is equal to 1. So, in multiplying, kailangan i-multiply natin sa lahat ng, nan, sa loob ng uh, equation. So, 2 times 2, negative x is equal to negative 2x. 2 times y is positive 2y. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So, ngayon pwede na natin siyang ma-add. Okay. 2x, positive 2x, and negative 2x, magiging 0. So, cancelled out na siya. Then, y plus 2y is equal to 3y. 3y is equal to 21. And, by... Multiplication property of equality. Uh, divide natin both sides ng 3. So, magiging y is equal to 7. So, eto ngayon yung value ng ating uh, y. So, mayroon na tayong y. So, ang susolve natin is x. So, solving for x, i-substitute lang natin yung value ng y sa original equation number 1 which is y is equal to 7. So, equation natin to x plus y is equal to 1. Uh, value ng y is 7. So, 2x plus 7 is equal to 1. Transpose natin para si 2x na lang matitira sa left side. So, si 7, kasi constant, dito natin i, na transpose sa kabila, so magiging negative 7. So, 2x x equal to 1 minus 7. 1 minus 7 is equal to negative 6. So, 2x is equal to negative 6. Then, divide natin both side by 2. So, magiging x is equal to negative 3. So, ito na ngayon ang solution natin of the system of, uh, of, the system of equation. x is negative 3, y is 7. Check natin. Equation number 1, to x plus y. So, 2, 2 times x natin is negative 3. Then, y is 7. Then, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 7 is equal to 1. Negative 6 plus 7 is equal to 
1. 1 is equal to 1. So, tama. Second equation, negative x plus y is equal to 10. So, negative uh, 3, negative times the negative 3, which is the value of our x, plus 7 is equal to 10. So, negative 3 times negative, uh, no sorry, negative times negative 3 is equal to positive 3, plus 7 is equal to 10. So, negative 10, uh, so, sorry, 10 is equal to 10. So, tama yung solution natin, negative 3 and 7. Next example, given 3x minus 2y is equal to 7, then second equation, 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 27. Kung makikita natin, yung 5 ang mas madali na i-eliminate kasi, ay you sorry, yung, yung y is mas madali natin eliminate kasi magkaiba yung sign nila. Pero, hindi magkapareho yung uh, coefficient nila. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa second, sa second example, dito sa third example natin, gagawin din na naman natin silang magkapareho by uh, yung, yung common factor nila or yung common denominator nila, greatest common denominator, which is 10. So, silang dalawa gagawin natin na 10, ang y. By multiplying, sa first equation, multiply natin ng 2, then, second equation, multiply na, ah, sorry, multiply natin ng 5, first equation, second equation, multiply natin ng 2. Okay, multiply natin first equation ng 5, second equation, multiply natin ng 2. So, so we will multiply 5 times 3x is equal to 15x minus 5 times 2y is equal to 10y is equal to 7. Then, second equation, 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 5y is 10y, 2 times negative 27 is negative 54. So, pwede na natin silang ma-add dahil magka magkaiba yung sign ng, ng y natin. So, we will add 15x plus uh, 4x is equal to 19x. So, 10y, negative 10y plus 10y, cancelled out na siya. So, ang matitira is 15x, is, 19x is equal to negative 19. If, uh, positive 35 and negative 54 is negative 19. So, uh, ang x natin is negative 1. So, we will solve for y by substituting the value of x sa ating first equation. First equation natin, 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. So, 3 times negative 1 minus 2y is equal to 7. So, kailangan matitira dito sa left side i, 2y. Simplify muna natin, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Minus 2y is equal to 7. So, matitira sa left side, negative 2y. Transpose ang negative 3, magiging positive 3. So, negative 2y is equal to 7 plus 3. So, negative 2y is equal to 10. Divide natin ang negative 2 both sides. So, y is equal to negative 5. Ito na ngayon ang solution ng ating system of equation x is negative 1, y is negative 5. Check natin. At 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. Substitute natin yung value ng x and y. So, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative, ne, minus negative 10 is equal to 7. Negative 10 times ne uh, negative is equal to positive. So, negative 3 plus 
10 is equal to 7. 7 is equal to 7. Equation 2. Negative 1 times 3 is ne negative 2. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. So, 27, negative 27 is equal to 27. So, check. So, ibig sabihin, solution is negative 1 and negative 5. Example 4. Dito sa example 4 natin, kung makikita natin, wala tap tayong pwedeng i-eliminate agad. So, kailangan natin pag ma ma pareho sila. And, yung sign nila ay pareho. So, kailangan uh, isa is positive, isa is negative. So, dito, kailangan natin silang dalawa talaga yung uh, gawa natin ng paraan. So, pipiliin natin y ang ating eliminate. So, gawin natin silang pareho. So, we will have the 12. Gagawin natin silang 12 pareho. So, we will multiply equation 1. To para maging 12, 2, 3. Then, equation 2 para maging 12 is 2. Then, para ma maiba yung sign sa equation 2 para maging negative, gagawin natin negative 2. Okay, so, multiply natin sa lahat ng nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, we have 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4y is equal to 12y. 3 times 22 is equal to 66. Then, negative 2 times 7x is equal to negative 14x. Negative 2 times uh, 6y is equal to 12, negative 12y. Negative 2 times 32 is equal to negative 64. So, we will add. So, makancel na natin itong si 12y. So, ang natitira is na 15x minus 14x is equals to x. Then, 66 minus 24 is equal to 2. So, ito yung value na x natin, which is 2. Solve natin ang ating y. So, equation 1. So, 5, if value ng x, is, which is 2, plus 4y is equal to 22. So, 10 is equal to, plus 4y is equal to 22. So, transpose natin si 10, magiging negative sa kabila. Then, 4y is equal to 12. Then, divide both sides by 4, y is equal to 3. So, our solution is 2 and 3. Check natin ang answer natin. Equation 1. So, 10 plus uh, 12 is equal to 22 is equal to 22. Equation 2. 7x plus 6 so is equal to 32. So, nagiging 14 plus 18 is equal to 32. So, tama yung sagot natin. Next, test yourself. Solve the given linear equation, system of linear equation to variables by elimination method. Meron tayong dalawang system of equation. Si solve ninyo, then bigyan ko kayo ng answer para ma-check ninyo kung tama yung sagot ninyo. So, number 1, the answer is 3 and 5. Number 2, the answer is negative 4 and negative 2. So, that's it. Sana may natutunan kayo. Please, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit notification bell para sa mga susunod na video na gagawin natin. Thank you and bye-bye.